Uh, the chairman of ISRO, uh, Mr. Somnath, is speaking. Uh, let's cut across. Uh, it's very difficult to describe what went through the mind. Uh, so, it could be joy, it could be the sense of accomplishment, and also thanksgiving to all those people who contributed to build it. So, all of this, gratefulness, joy, so those are the feelings. Sir, what were the learning that your team took from earlier mission that ensured success this time, sir? See, uh, any failure is such a great teacher. Uh, the last failure of Chandrayaan 2 gave us a lot of inputs in terms of its data and what went wrong and we real clearly identified. So, those lessons are the first thing that we uh, learned and afterwards we looked at what all can go wrong further and we strengthened all of them so that the failure won't happen this time. So, uh, essentially in, in all the space missions, failures are important element for achieving success. The very first time success doesn't mean it is a success. We all realize that the second time it can fail. So once it fails, a lot of data comes and a lot of information comes and in every, even if it succeeds one time, there are possibilities of failures in the second time. So uh, looking at many other rocket launches, you will understand that. So we are very tuned to understanding failures and make corrective actions. Why has ISRO chosen the South Pole in the moon, sir? We have gone closer to South Pole, which is 70 degree almost. So the South Pole has a speci special uh, advantage with respect to being less illuminated by the sun. And because of that, there is a potential to have more scientific content in terms of retention of water below the subsurface and also elemental composition and other activities, uh, which is an electrical activity on surface of the moon to be more dominant there than what it is there at the equator. So science people who are scientists who are working on moon has really shown a lot of interest on the South Pole because ultimately human beings wants to go and create colonies on the moon and then travel beyond. So the best place is something that we are looking for. So South Pole has a potential to, to be that. Now that uh, the rover Pragyan is in on surface of the moon, what is the team hoping from it? It has two instruments. Pragyan has two instruments. Both are related to elemental composition finding on the moon as well as chemical composition. So one based on laser, other based on alpha particles and both will be doing its experiments. And more than that, it will do the roving on the surface. We will do also a robotic path planning exercise which is very important for us for future exploration. Uh, and uh, uh, this data will give a little more understanding of the lunar regolith uh, for all the scientists. So that's what we expect. When pictures of Pragyan rover will come in the moon surface? It will come soon. We are working today for it. What are the key experiments that are to be conducted, sir? So other than those two experiments on the Pragyan, we have three experiments on board uh, Vikram lander also. One is related to finding the seismic activity on the moon surface. The payload is ILSA. And there is a, a payload where we will conduct a thermophysical measurement of the moon surface called uh, Chaste. And the third experiment is uh, uh, REMBA, which is going to measure the electrical uh, new uh, activity on the surface, especially to study the uh, charged particle atmosphere of the moon. So three such experiments. Sir, what is the next for ISRO in terms of mission Gaganyan and mission Aditya? Aditya is a mission to sun. It is getting ready and uh, it is just ready for launch. First week of September it will be launched. And after that it will be launched, uh, it will travel for many days to reach the L1 point. Gaganyan is still in, in the work, in progress, and we are doing a mission possibly by end of September or beginning of October for demonstrating the crew module and crew escape capability, and which will be followed by further missions of unmanned missions next year beginning, and many more test, test missions and test uh, ground tests, hundreds of them, until we do the first manned mission, possibly by 25. ISRO has also showcased extraordinary ability to the world that how would you view, especially going to forward? Of course, uh, we continue to work on domains which are very complicated compared to many other scientific and technological domains and we are very happy in the last 60 years we were able to accomplish something very phenomenal uh, that other, like as much as a developed nation could do, having rockets of our own made fully in India, designed and made in India as well as satellites and missions whatever we want to achieve. So it's a great feeling. And it has also been serving the country in terms of applications and as well as creating industries, engineering capability and motivating people. More than that, creating an inspirational organization where the, it has become the nation's pride and we are very happy about that.